What's up everyone? My name is Bart Coppens and I am famous for being the world's sexiest entomologist. That's why so many people follow me. But the animals that I study are also pretty nice to look at. And today I'm going to tell you about this drawer right here. And the species Leudorphia japonica. Let's get started. Thanks for watching. Welcome to my video about this beautiful Japanese butterfly. Leudorphia japonica is a quite exceptional and unique species of swallowtail butterfly that is only found in central and western Honshu. Honshu is one of the main islands of Japan. In a second I will tell you everything that I know about the ecology of this butterfly, but um, not before I play some hip and thematic music as usual. Boom. Alright, that's better. Let's get started. Leudorphia japonica is an interesting butterfly species that is definitely worth doing a video about. It is mainly found in the Gifu prefecture on Honshu. Here I can show you a nice distribution map of the species inside Japan. Leudorphia japonica butterflies usually emerge in spring. Uh, for example, at the beginning of April uh, in the area of Kyoto and in open woodlands and the decorous forest on medium level elevation. They are a little selective about the environment that they live in because they mainly like spacious open fields within forests. Here the butterflies lay eggs on an unusual host plant, wild ginger. The name of this plant is very deceptive since wild ginger is actually not related to ginger or the ginger that we eat at all. It is rather a small type of the Aristologia sea, known as the Birdworth family or the pipe vine family. And it's a direct relative of the tropical climbing pipe vines that most gardeners are familiar with. The plant is also quite poisonous, but the caterpillars of this butterfly are immune to the toxin. After laying their eggs on Asarum in early spring, which is the scientific name um, of, the, of their host plant, the caterpillars begin eating and uh, they pass the summer and tend to pupate around June. The genus Leudorphia is a member of the Parnassinae zerintini, which is a very very primitive lineage of swallow-tailed butterflies, the Papillionidae, and makes them a direct relative of the Apollo butterflies, such as Parnassius and the Festoon Zerentia butterflies, for example. The toxins from their poisonous food plant, the wild ginger aka Genus Asarum, also protect the insect. The caterpillars store the toxins inside their bodies when they eat the plant, making themselves toxic instead. This is a process called sequestration. Even when the caterpillars turn into butterflies, they still have these toxins inside their bodies. Because of this, many insectivorous predators prefer to leave the butterflies alone, since eating one could make them sick. Now, let's talk about threats and conservation, and here I found a nice excerpt from the Threatened Swallowtail Butterflies of the World, the EUCN Red Data Book. It reads, and I quote, Threats. The ridiculous broadleafed forests of Japan were formerly managed as a source of timber and charcoal and a constant thinning encouraged Leudorphia japonica. In recent times, however, the uh, forests are not used as a resource. They are either left uh, to reach dense climate woodland or else they are cleared for residential developments and amenities such as golf courses. 
The resulting depletion of suitable habitat for uh, Leodorphia japonica is causing continuous reductions in its range. In conclusion, it is threatened by deforestation and urbanization. Conservation measures. There are still many good localities, good news, for Leodorphia japonica in western Honshu. But the constant accelerate and accelerating loss of its habitat requires conservation action. There are no permanent reserves for the butterfly and suitable localities should be identified and surveyed. Once protected, habitats will need to be carefully managed in order to maintain suitable conditions. A research program into the management um, of the butterfly is desirable. The butterfly is not difficult to rear artificially and suitable localities could be kept well stocked. Pupa are already occasionally advertised for sale. More data on the habitat and biology of Leodorphia japonica are needed, but a program of research into its pupal diapause have given a good basis for future management studies. So in conclusion, turns out this, uh, in captivity the species is very uh, easy to breed. And one of the recommendations is to keep a conservation program going um, under which individuals could be artificially bred in captivity to bring uh, up their numbers. If this will really work, uh, I don't know if this is actually a good conservation measure. For me, conservation measures should always focus on preserving the habitat and potentially expanding it. Because, believe it or not, the amount of individuals in the wild is not an indication of how well a species is doing. It sounds crazy, but if you um, somehow bred a million butterflies and release them, that doesn't mean the species is now doing better because there are more butterflies. It's actually determined by how many sustainable populations there are and over what range. It's certainly a more complicated issue. However, uh, I overall agree with this recommendation. Now, another fun fact is it's only found in Japan and um, it was discovered in um, 1883 by entomologist Yasushi Nawa in Japan's Gifu prefecture and after a decade of teaching he found the Nawa Insect Research Center in 1896 where he studied the protection of beneficial insects and the extermination of harmful for ones uh, such as termite control. So um, and finally in uh, 1919 he established the Nawa Insect Museum which is currently still located in Gifu Park in the city of Gifu. So I found it really interesting that um, the museum that this person founded apparently is still accessible today. <laughs> so this, this museum was established by the same person who first discovered and described this butterfly species. I just thought that was really interesting uh, information. Anyways, this was uh, just a very short and nice video of a very charming species of Leodorphia. I have to say, this is not the only species of Leodorphia uh, that's in its genus. Other species have also been described. I came across the names Leodorphia taibai, Leodorphia pulizoi, Leodorphia japonica and Leodorphia sinensis. So that means there's at least four species. How much of these species names are valid, I don't know. For this video, I only researched the uh, Japonica species. Although it could be worth it doing another video about them in the future, if my YouTube viewers like this episode. Thank you everyone for watching. Is there a butterfly or moth that you would love to see in the web series Drawer of the Week? Let me know in the comments. Last but not least, my channel is 100% and completely demonetized. YouTube is not supporting me at all. I am doing this more or less for free, which is okay because I enjoy doing it. I enjoy educating, spreading the good word about insects. However, I would be happy if people supported me on one of my crowdfunding platforms, such as Patreon. Um, under this video, there's a description and in the description, there's many links and information. If you would at least read that, I would be happy. Thank you. Goodbye. Hope to see you next episode. Bye bye. Hello everyone and thank you for watching this week's episode of Drawer of the Week. My name is Bart Coppens and I work with butterflies and moths. Both dead ones and live ones. Because I breed them in captivity. I study them, I film them, I photograph them, I research them. And I volunteer in a museum collection where I'm a conservator of the butterflies and moths. Now Drawer of the Week is my weekly series where I show you 
one drawer with interesting specimens from a museum and give you some interesting facts about them. If you like it, like my video, subscribe to my channel and consider joining my crowdfunding platform Patreon. Because only with your help, my mission to educate the whole world about insects can be fulfilled. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you next episode of this weekly series. Hello everyone and thank you for watching my Drawer of the Week mini-series. I would like to take a moment to say thanks to the Natural History Museum of Rotterdam or in Dutch Het Natuurhistorisch Museum van Rotterdam. All the insect videos I film, I film in the scientific collection of the Rotterdam Natural History Museum where I work as a honorary junior conservator. Thanks for watching and until next time.